But hello everybody, today's video has been many years in the making. Today I'm gonna tell you about 13 RVing essentials. And why 13? Totally arbitrary number, it happens to be my lucky number. But these are uh, some items that you should really have in your RV to make your RV life uh, either easier or safer. And in the spirit of full disclosure, some of these items are uh, review units that I have received uh, to show you guys, uh, but I will tell you when they are and when they're not uh, but I still think it is important to have them maybe not exactly this brand but it's one of them I'm riding 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 with my RV my RV wherever I want to be because I'm free in my RV Okay, number one. Okay, this is something every RVer should have in their basement. A surge protector unit. And um, I had an entry level unit, but uh, now the, the nice folks at Southwire sent me uh, this review unit. And, and uh, let me unplug it real quick so I can show it to you. Anyways, this is um, a unit by uh, Southwire. And in the spirit of full disclosure, this is uh, something that they sent me, a review unit. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you a fuller review at some point. Here the, <laughs> the fridge kicking in. And um, actually it's really hot out here. Well, it was really hot in Florida. Now it's uh, kind of cold here in, in Northern Georgia. We we're experiencing great a variety of weather on this trip. And I wanted to show you something else here. Uh, the, the surge protector has this uh, uh, LCD screen and it shows you the voltage. Uh, that your site has and it also shows you how many amps you're consuming of course I'm, I'm right now almost not consuming anything because my AC is off let me open this and I'm going to simulate a power outage now when it comes back on it tells you the, the caution light is flashing and it tells you the delay of how many seconds uh, it's going to take I, th I, do, I still do believe it's like two minutes that it takes uh, for um, this is so new that I haven't removed <laughs> there you go if I turn it back on it's it's not going to turn the power right back on because it, it has a, a 120 second uh, protect I believe it is 120 second uh, timer to protect your compressor so if the power goes out in the campground and it comes right back up you know one of those you know just blinks it off it won't damage your air conditioning and it has a, a bunch of uh, different features uh, that will help protect the electronics in your RV. Numero dos, a water pressure regulator. Water pressure regulator and this is something that you really need uh, right here you put it uh, on the spigot right before your hose and this will prevent uh, you know your, your pipes from bursting out uh, in there if the water pressure is, is too uh, uh, too high over here and also the other day I had a problem I forgot to put this on and uh, one of the, the faucets started leaking uh, under and I had a little bit of a flood in here but uh, luckily I was able to catch it on time but yeah this is a cheap unit you can you can get uh, better units uh, out there eventually I want to get the Valterra that has like the has a gauge that it actually tells you your water pressure and this morning here in northern Georgia and um, as you can see, the lighting is this morning. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful campground here. I'm staying at uh, what's it called, Plum Nelly. This is by LDJ Georgia. Now for number three. Number three, a water filter. Okay, here we go. Water filter, because. Uh, most of the time the water is fine but if you want to drink the water of the faucet and all that it's also it's always good to, to have a water filter and this is a water filter by by Camco it's a standard uh, RV water filter It'll last you six months or so it depends how much you use it but definitely and uh, this is the one that everybody uses uh, I haven't really seen any other brands I guess I think Camco has like the the monopoly on RV water filters but is it Camco? <laughs> so um, that's that's also something essential that you should have okay number four and this is one item that um, nowadays a lot of its functionality has been replaced by our cell phones but what happens when you are boondocking in the boondocks and you don't have a cell phone signal well for those uh, rare occasions 
you need a weather radio and this is a unit that I bought uh, uh, when I bought uh, the RV and uh, everybody said that you needed to have it and it's very uh, good to have it because it will give you it will give you an alarm if there's like a tornado warning or something like that that you need to take shelter I mean that kind of thing and it will it will also give you the the weather radio band and uh, you can listen to that uh, I have one little gripe about this unit that I bought by Midland that every time you move you have to set up your county and your state and your county and you would think that nowadays they, would, they could put a, a GPS chip in here and the unit could figure out exactly where you are but uh, besides that it is very important to have one just in case just in case of emergency number five and uh, this is a first aid kit and sometimes you're gonna be uh, boondocking in the boondocks and uh, your first responder is going to be you so you need to have like the, the essentials to treat like a wound you never know when you're gonna smash your finger uh, you know uh, hitching the, the car to the trailer or anything like that so this this is a very complete kit by the way uh, also in full disclosure this is something that they sent me for review and uh, to show you guys it has uh, these ice packs instant ice packs that i believe you smash them and they become cold which is very cool it has a bit of a rain poncho i mean what, what, what else can you ask for and uh, this you, you have these uh, tweezers and it has a uh, like a surgical scissors it has this um you know this that you smash them and they produce light you see them at concerts all the time it has two of them it has a weasel <laughs> It has a, a compass in case you get lost in the woods. It has, a, uh, I mean, a sewing kit. I think this is it. Yeah, it has like threads and yeah. And um, I have no idea what this is, but I'm sure it's very useful. It has uh, safety pins. Okay, let's see what else. A razor, a razor blade has two of them. So, you know, it has a bunch of stuff, a bunch of items you might need in case of uh, an emergency and this is just the convenience stuff now let's go to the medical the actual uh, medical stuff that you, it can save you in case you get wounded and you have to wait a long time for for medical attention uh these are oh, first aid gloves you might be able to use them to, to dump your tanks as well and uh let me see what this is because i have, this is the first time i open it this is the first aid blanket it has everything guys and and, um, and I'll put a link in the description below to this uh, item that they so uh, graciously sent me so I could show you guys and uh, this this side has like all the um, you know the, the adhesive bandages you know band-aids and uh, abdominal pad uh, two of them in a, and it has a, a, a sterile gauze pad and it has like like cotton swabs and and, uh, and um, this stuff, elastic bandage, you know, everything that if, if you if you get wounded in the middle of nowhere and uh, this is a triangular bandage. So you see it, it has a, a, a bunch of stuff and uh, I think it's, it's another essential item that, that you should have in your RV just in case the unexpected happens. Did you notice that my hoodie was hanging there? Anyways, the, the number, uh, is it number six? Am I by number six? Number six, flashlights. And not because you don't have, the power is never gonna go out in here because you have a battery. But outside, the campground is dark. And you might wanna go to the bathhouse in the middle of the night or you might wanna walk your dog or do something. And you need a flashlight because it is dark out there. And you know, one of the things that I have plenty of there, there, that's it. That I have plenty of is flashlights because they send them to me so I can show it to you guys. So I'm gonna show you the latest one that I received. It's an LED lamp power bank waterproof IP68. And it does provide decent light. It's not like the brightest thing on earth, but it's fine. Oh, it's brighter. And then it, it has a red light. And then it has a flashing red light and another flashing and blue and it has a bunch of settings but anyway the, the, the good thing that this one has is that if, if you're outside you can hang it uh, from the awning or, or from somewhere so that, that's, a, that's a, a pretty cool feature that this one has of course you can never have too many flashlights 
but check it out. I'll put a link in the description as well. But by the way, this is also something that they sent me. Um, ah, what else do you need? You know what else do you need? And let me go back to my drawer of mysteries where all this stuff usually is. Multi-tool. And I have two of them. I have a multi-tool. You know, this comes in very handy whenever uh, the, the, this... Uh, the screw on the GoPro becomes jammed. I just go fuagata and I open the and I loosen it. Sometimes that happens, but uh, uh, kidding aside, you know, here you have um, uh, pliers and then you have knives and screwdrivers and all that. You know, if you need a Phillips screwdriver, you have it. And it's not the best Phillips screwdriver, but it's the one that you have. Now, I also carry with me all the time in here, and uh, it's I'm sorry, it's a little worn out. I've had this thing for decades a swiss army knife because you know if you need a, a, a knife and it also has a screwdriver it has a, a scissors i don't know if this one has scissors yes it does so you've seen them before a swiss army knife you should have a, some kind of multi-tool so if you need to loosen a screw or or do, you know you need it okay number four okay number four Okay, number eight, <laughs> tire pressure monitoring system. And there you see it, I bought this unit by Tire Minder, it seemed to be like the most uh, popular brand. And uh, there's a little bit of a setup uh, process, but after that it's very straightforward, it tells you the, the pressure of each tire and the temperature, and if there's a problem, it'll beep and give you an alarm. Very important to have. Number nine, number nine, number nine. An air compressor. And this I showed you uh, about a year ago in one of the videos. This is something else that they sent me in the mail, but and there are many brands. This is, you know, one of the least expensive ones, but it does the job. It works on 12 volts. And um, you know what happens? Uh, gas stations are not designed with RVs in mind. Sometimes in order to get to the, to the air, it's really a pain in you know where. So, you know, this unit works on 12 volt. And it even has an adapter, like if you want to fill up a, a basketball or, a, or an inflatable boat. But its main purpose is to fill your tires. And if the tire pressure monitoring system tells you that the tires are low, all you have to do is connect this to a 12 volt power and screw this to your tire. And it even has a sensor that you can set it up. And I have it off now, but I'll put in some B-roll video where you can uh, set it up to stop filling uh, the tire at the desired uh, pressure. Doesn't always work, but... <laughs> and since we are in an RV and this is really designed for a car, you need to have one of these bonus. This is not part of the 13. Uh, and this I bought myself. It's, um, it's a, um, a 12 volt extension. So you can reach the... Uh, for example, at my my 12 volt outlet is down here the one that i made and my the tires on that side this cable is not long enough so you need an extension okay number 10 leveling blocks and uh, there are many kinds i i, I have the, the the lego type and right now through the magic of television it's going to be daylight and we're going to walk outside okay so this is what they call lego style levelers and what you do stuck in like this and if you only need like a little bit of leveling, like so, but if you need more, then you can do this. And if you need more than this, of course, uh, this won't fit uh, between the, the two tires of my dual axle. But if you have only one axle, you can, in theory, stack them up even higher. Okay, number 11, a log range, and, and you should get, I mean, the one that I have is the, the, the cross uh, type because it has, it has the, the size that I need, basically. But once in a while, you should check uh, the, you know, the tightness of your, of your tire uh, lugs, lug nuts, because sometimes they get loose and you don't want to lose a tire in the middle of the road. So that's very important to have. That's another thing that you need to have in your basement. 
Okay, number 12, host extensions. And it doesn't happen very often, but once in a while you go to a campground where the sewer hole is all the way back there and your regular sewer hose doesn't reach. That's when you need a sewer hose extension. The same, it happens, it, it, it only happened actually only once. I have a 25 foot uh, fresh water uh, hose, drinking water hose, but you need an extension too because you, once in a blue moon you're gonna get that campground where where the water spigot is 50 feet away so that's another must in your basement and finally uh, number 13 okay it's called a sewer clean out plug range and camco makes one i this this is not a plug i bought it myself it's uh, and um uh, what it does is w once in a blue moon, especially in Florida, where it's required that you have the screw-on caps on the on the on the, on the sewer uh, outlet, uh, sometimes they get jammed. Uh, the, the previous person tightened it too hard, and you have a hard time opening it. And um, there's this plastic uh, range, uh, you know, that Camco makes, and um, it's very inexpensive, and it's also a very good. Uh, to have in your basement for that one moment when you need to open uh, the sewer uh, the, the you know the dumping station and you can't well as you can see I don't have a sewer hookup at this site I'm gonna have to go to the dump station at some point but if I did and it got jammed this is what I would use and as you can see it has uh, it's like an, an all size fits all for those uh, you know uh, sewer hole covers Okay, that was 13. One last bonus. I was just uh, chatting with uh, fellow RVers and YouTubers, uh, uh, Robert and Jessica. Their channel is uh, um, exploring the local life. And they gave me one last suggestion that I haven't uh, had that much trouble with, but uh, they are f full timing. And it is a dehumidifier. I mean, in the, cause, because in, in the summer it doesn't matter because you run the AC, but in the winter you can get a lot of humidity in here and they even had a mold problem in their RV. I, of course, I am part-timing and when my RV is at home, in, in, you know, in, in storage uh, with, without the AC on, I just put one of these damp red uh, cases. But they suggested that this would be, I guess, a bonus number 14 for our list. Now, I probably missed a lot of stuff, so uh, if you guys please can comment below and tell me what else you think is essential is to have in the basement of your RV, uh, RVing essentials. And I'm sorry that some of these items have been uh, promotional units, you know, stuff that I have received uh, to review, but I still think that it is essential to have one of those units, be it the one that I showed you or someone else's. Anyways, uh, that's it uh, for today as we are here in between uh, road trips and I thought I'd just give you one of these uh, this is how to video is this is this is a top a top 14 video or <laughs> anyway you know what I mean by now if you have enjoyed traveling with us and make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos also, share it with your friends, spread the word, and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.